your job is to agree with God all day long say the things that he says and say the things about you that he's already said about you that's your job that's how you meditate The Holy Ghost is God here earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrada. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here. Make sure you subscribe. And if it's not your first time here and you're blessed by this ministry, become a partner with us. Help us get this message to people all over the world. How to meditate effectively. Now, effectively means that it has an effect, a beneficial thing that you can do, and it will have results psalms 46 verse 10 says be still and know that i am god now it's okay to be still and know that he's god right yeah. i'm not saying that but that didn't say you're meditating this just says you're being still so just being still or getting quiet or sitting in a weird position is not meditating it's not what we're talking about that's being still you should be still sometimes and know that he's God but that's not meditating that's being still Amen. now I am a huge proponent of worshiping the Holy Ghost you know that if you've been here at all meaning using the words I worship you Holy Ghost so I like to do this I get in the same place every day the same chair and I'll worship the Holy Ghost I'll say Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today I worship you Holy Ghost right when I sit there and worship the Holy Ghost I am not meditating I am worshiping the Holy Ghost <laughs> maybe this maybe this is too simple but I'm not meditating I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost I'm a big proponent of that are there benefits to that yes. huge benefits to worshiping the Holy Ghost life-changing benefits your life will change if you do that on a daily basis that's worshiping the Holy Ghost what what do you become if you worship the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost worshiper. <laughs> a Holy Ghost worshiper I talk a lot about speaking in other tongues to the degree you should do it hours a day are there any benefits to speaking in tongues yes. huge amounts of benefits to speaking in tongues but speaking in tongues is not meditating scripturally uh -huh. so I'm not talking about just getting quiet and I'll show you in a minute why just getting quiet is not meditating according to scriptures in fact it's the opposite one is getting quiet one is worshiping God the other one is praying in the spirit we can we're all right here to define these things right if we want to be scriptural you have to have scriptures so if I learn how to meditate say meditate meditate. meditate effectively I will have results which means I will have a greater degree of success than I have right now mm -hmm. God's plan for you is success God's plan for you is increase there is an increase of God that comes only by meditation spiritual meditation is not mental what do most people think when they think of meditation they think of their mind they think of something doing with their mind mm -hmm. spiritual meditation that we're talking about tonight is not mental it's spiritual mm -hmm. spiritual meditation is spiritual <laughs> you wouldn't think that these things would be so profound spiritual meditation is not mental it's spiritual it's operating a spiritual something mm -hmm. a spiritual law really mm -hmm. yes. that will lead to a spiritual increase or a success being effective in spiritual meditation means we have to know some things and lay the foundation of where this knowledge is mm -hmm. so let's do that Genesis chapter 1 we're talking about how to meditate effectively we know that it's a spiritual thing Genesis chapter 1 let's read right verse 1 in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth verse 2 and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God or as we know I brought this out before it's the Spirit God moved upon the face of the waters what's verse 3 say 
and God said so within the first three verses of the Bible we can see that God is God created everything that would be you the earth everything you have to do with right he's God he's a spirit right yep. he's the spirit God and number three verse three and he says things does he ever change from being that he's still God he's still a spirit and he's still a spirit that says things verse 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let him have dominion over the earth so if he made us in his image what do we know about him so far the only thing he said about his image was that he's a spirit being that says things right so we're made in his image we become a spirit say a spirit, a spirit. that says things chapter 3 verse 8 and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden now we can see how God walks in the garden how did God walk in the garden with his voice so God walks with his voice He's a speaking spirit we if we're gonna walk with God I know we're making some jumps here if we're going to walk with God who is a spirit we're gonna walk with him with our voice the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words and by saying the same thing mm -hmm. what if I want to walk more closely with him I'm gonna have to speak more and I'm gonna have to speak more accurately according to the things he says yes. otherwise I'm not walking with him I'm walking against him mm -hmm. I'm laying the foundation of what real spiritual meditation is mm -hmm. that will ha be effectual for you John chapter 6 verse 63 it is the spirit that quickens the flesh profits nothing the words I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life so here we see an indication that Jesus is saying things can you imagine that yeah. Jesus is saying things and those words that he said are spirit and life so the words are spirit the words are life meditation is spiritual Jesus said my words are spirit and their life what are you gonna meditate with his words Joshua 1 8 this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate you see that word mm -hmm. but thou shalt meditate therein for a short time on Sunday mornings mm -hmm. nope thou shalt meditate therein day and night how long is that that's all the time isn't it Thou shalt meditate therein day and out night that thou mayest observe to do all according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous does God want you to make your way prosperous yes, yes God wants you to prosper and then thou shalt have good success he could have just said success but it's good success mm -hmm. right now we're talking about meditating that is effectual which will cause you to be a success this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth the NIV says keep the book always on your lips mm -hmm. but if it's not out of your mouth it's in your mouth right. that's the point so keep it say keep it, keep it. on your lips right so if I'm keeping something on my lips and he goes on to say day and night thou shalt meditate day and night mm -hmm. right that means all the time it's on your lips mm -hmm. meaning you're saying what the word says mm -hmm. say about everything. about everything this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth keep it on your lips but thou shalt meditate day and night now if we look up the word meditate in the Hebrew it literally means to mutter say to mutter. to mutter to mutter or to utter but it always means to make a sound mm -hmm. yeah. are you getting this so scriptural meditating is to say something are you getting this yeah. 
here it says keep the book always on your lips keep the scriptures always on your lips don't let it depart from your mouth thou shalt meditate or mutter it or speak it mm -hmm. say speak it. speak it day and night that means all the time meaning when you get up in the morning all the way till night mm -hmm. that's meditating it's saying something it's not even thinking something but it's certainly not sitting there being quiet mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. what do you suppose it would have sounded like for Joshua to, to do this he would have been saying the scriptures mm -hmm. day and night say saying the scriptures, saying the scriptures. Day, and night. day and night is meditating mm -hmm. Psalms 119 99 I have more understanding than all of my teachers for thy testimonies are my meditation his God's things that he said are my meditation mm -hmm. what is your meditation the things he said are you getting this if I'm gonna scripturally meditate I'm going to be uttering muttering or at least sounding out the things that he said yeah. and look what that does for you it gives you insight more than other people have mm -hmm. I know for a fact that if I take a verse of scripture and I write it down I usually write it on a three by five card right I'll write a scripture on it and I will say it I will mutter it I will say it day and night day and what do you mean day and night when I get up in the morning I pick it up off the, my bed stand and I say it mm -hmm. and as I go get my coffee I say it I carry it around me, with me like a little friend mm -hmm. and I say it and I say it and, I, and as I do that I am meditating the word and revelation out of that word comes to me mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. it makes my way prosperous and successful Psalm 35 27 let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause yay let them say continually so if you're favoring God's righteous cause mm -hmm. you're gonna be saying something continually can you explain to me what continually means all the time, all the time. All the time. we could say day and night mm -hmm. verse 28 and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all day long mm -hmm. say all day long, all day long. you want to meditate in God's Word you want to meditate scripturally you want to meditate effectively it means muttering or saying God's word now when David says these things of the Lord as we know so far already what is he doing he's saying what the Lord is mm -hmm. the Lord is this to me what does the Lord become to David what he says why because he's walking with him speaking in agreement with him mm -hmm. you go well how did how did David know God is a God of prosperity because he said that he was a God of prosperity according to the scriptures mm -hmm. not making this up right. would he know maybe him as a healer somebody to heal him mm -hmm. or somebody that delivered him yes because that's how he walked with him by saying it all of those things he could be saying according to scripture mm -hmm. and he would have revelation in it that other people don't Psalms 107 verse 2 let the redeemed of the Lord be quiet <laughs> let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy what would I say concerning this about the Lord he hath redeemed me from the hand of the enemy I'm saying it I'm walking with him are you seeing this so whatever we say so we walk with him in Psalms 91 verse 2 I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence mm -hmm. I will say of the Lord 
the Lord does for you exactly what you say he will do for you and he won't do for you exactly what you don't say he won't do for you does that make sense yes. he's my refuge and my fortress and he shall deliver me look from down here verse 10 there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come near your dwelling what should I do about that verse of Scripture I'm supposed to say it that's how I walk with God in it that's how he becomes that to me that's how I become successful in that Deuteronomy 28 verse 6 blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out when is that when you're coming and going I'm blessed when I'm coming what should I say then I should say when I go I'm blessed I sh what should I say when I come in I'm blessed. I'm blessed why am I doing this remember we talked he would meditate day and night at some point during the day before it's night do you ever come in or go out he goes on to say here in the city in the field mm -hmm. blessed blessed so I'm blessed coming in I say it I'm blessed going out I say it mm -hmm. you need to discipline yourself I like to do it whenever I go in through a door mm -hmm. what do you do when you go through a door you're either going in or out mm -hmm. right so when you go through that door say when I go through that door I say I'm blessed why would you say you're blessed isn't that presumptuous no because I'm saying in agreement with God and it's part of my meditation mm -hmm. all the day are you getting this Deuteronomy 6 6 and these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart verse 7 and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and thou shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up verse 9 and thou shalt write them upon the posts of thine house and on thy gates why because God likes to see it as an inscription does it do anything if you just write it on the post of the gate it does you gotta say it it's to remind you that's the point it's to remind you to say and what are you gonna say when you go through the posts of the gate or into the house you're gonna say what it says you're gonna say I'm blessed coming in I'm blessed going out mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. meditation effectual your job is to agree with God all day long say the things that he says and say the things about you that he's already said about you mm -hmm. that's your job that's how you meditate day and night mm -hmm. why number one reason is that we walk with God that's how we're walking with God is by speaking in agreement with him most people want it some other way but there is no other way this is the way from the very beginning and it continues mm -hmm. it's how we walk with God the Holy Ghost yes. by speaking in agreement meditation which we already know according to the scripture is to make a sound right is to say what are we saying we're gonna say his promises we're gonna say his word meditation is the process of transferring say transferring transferring, transferring his power that's already in that word mm -hmm. into you your life and your situation he's already released his power and faith in the word now meditation us uttering it is the process say the process, the process. of transferring the power that's already in that word mm -hmm. into our situation into your physical body into your finances mm -hmm. into whatever it is mm -hmm. whatever that word says it is are you here yes. So scriptural biblical meditation is the process of transferring his power that's already in the word into you into your life into your situations even into your body 
we'll just take for example youth renewal if I confess scriptures that say he renews my youth what's gonna happen it my meditation of that my uttering that even if I'm just mumbling it under my breath he renews my youth right is going to take what's the power that's already in that word and begin to transfer it mm -hmm. into my situation and I will be a success in that yes. in what you say in youth renewal mm -hmm. the end result will be my youth will be renewed how's that happen meditation by muttering meditation is the process of transferring power faith and life that's already in the word remember Jesus said my words are spirit and they're life so if we agree with them we say them it begins to transfer the power that's already in that into our situation it's operating a spiritual law that leads to increase and success every word of God has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass mm -hmm. Isaiah 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish that which I please it shall prosper in the things whereunto I sent it what is the it that prospers what is the it that accomplishes the thing the word, the word itself yes. mm -hmm. so every word that God has already say already, already has already spoken has within it the ability to bring itself to pass and it'll work for whosoever he's no respecter of persons that word that he said by Jesus stripes you were healed will heal any person that learns how to get the goodness out of that word and into their situation and God gave us this process called meditation mm -hmm. to do that exact thing are you getting this yes. this is good news first John chapter 5 verse 4 for what soever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith so what's the victory that overcomes the world our faith now if your faith can be victorious most people would agree with this but your faith could be victorious over a situation right if your faith could be victorious over a situation then there must be some kind of victory in the faith itself to get you there yes. it's not just your faith you're not just trying to believe something believe something mm -hmm. you didn't get faith on your own that faith came from the word mm -hmm. faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word your faith is a product of his faith you only have faith because his word contains faith where'd you get faith from came by hearing the word mm -hmm. so there must have been faith in the word for you to even have faith to overcome a situation mm -hmm. you only have faith because his word contains that faith that very faith of the promise to bring itself to pass that's how you get it and when you meditate on it or mutter it day and night that faith that's in that word causes you to overcome the situation mm -hmm. question could you believe for whatever circumstance it is could you believe for healing or deliverance could you believe for prosperity could you believe for whatever it happens to be that you're believing for could you believe for that if you had God's faith yes. this is an important question could I believe for healing if I had God's faith could I believe for youth renewal if I had God's faith yes. could I believe for prosperity if I had God's faith yes. almost no one would say no of right mm -hmm. well of course if I had God's faith well, I could create the universe he did mm -hmm. if you could believe for that thing if you had God's faith mm -hmm. what do we know now this should start to get exciting where is God's faith for that thing mm -hmm it's already in the word he's already released in his word the faith that will bring that thing say that thing, that thing. It'll bring that thing to pass and he gave us the process of meditation to bring it out into our life are you here yes. 
that's why he said if you meditate in my word day and night you'll be prosperous and successful why because the faith to make him prosperous and successful was in the word itself so effective meditation is the answer to have God's faith for whatever that is whatever the promise is that you're believing for I love this this is one of the things I love about the word and I love about God is he's not holding things back for me he's opening up things and the more I meditate on it the more I see I can have that say this I can have, I can have everything, everything that, God that God has said, has said in, his word, in his word in my life, in my life. but you're gonna have to do it the way he said to do it and it's simply meditation is that thing mm -hmm. are you getting this mm -hmm. I call it faith mining in the word if you dig into it what are you gonna get out of it faith, faith what kind of faith faith for whatever it is that brings that promise to pass in your life mm -hmm. are there promises concerning healing yes what if I mine that what am I gonna get what kind of faith am I gonna get faith for, faith for healing are there any promises concerning financial prosperity mm -hmm. being the head and not the tail above only and not beneath what if I mine that what am I going to get out of that mm -hmm. faith for that mm -hmm. so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God what if I go to a church or I associate with a bunch of people who don't believe that it's God's will to heal everybody it's gonna be difficult for me mm -hmm. to live in divine health being in that atmosphere you could say right yes. what if they preach against prosperity are you going to be able to believe for it I mean you'll be a closet prosperity believer but it'll be difficult mm -hmm. and the number one thing that you're not going to be fed your faith on prosperity in that group mm -hmm. you're not going to be fed your faith on healing in that group That's right. you're not going to be fed youth renewal in that group right mm -hmm. we hit there are a lot of people who have not heard whether there be any Holy Ghost when I say the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today that's like foreign to their ears Acts chapter 19 verse 2 they said exactly that we've not heard whether there be any Holy. so could they walk with the Holy Ghost in the way we're talking tonight they couldn't because they had no faith for it faith for salvation they might have that you know when they die and go to heaven well glory to God I'm not against that faith for salvation comes from hearing the Word of God on salvation mm -hmm. faith for healing comes from hearing the Word of God on healing mm -hmm. faith for prosperity comes from hearing the Word of God on prosperity faith for youth renewal comes from hearing the Word of God on youth renewal faith for walking with the Holy Ghost is God near today comes from hearing the Word of God on the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today yes. we walk with the Holy Ghost in a way others can't because they don't have the faith to do it they haven't heard it yet mm -hmm. Romans 10 17 so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God faith cometh mm -hmm. by hearing the Word of God what kind of faith cometh whatever the Word of God contained yes. in that Word of God that's why it's so difficult for people that just go to a church that doesn't believe in healing to get healed mm -hmm. and they're wondering maybe God put this on them because they're not hearing the word that has healing in it mm -hmm. so how does faith come it comes by hearing and it comes by hearing that Word of God mm -hmm. Acts chapter 19 2 they'd never heard whether there be any Holy Ghost so they couldn't possibly have received the Holy Ghost right now whether you like it or not I am preaching a word of faith the words I'm saying have faith in themselves to bring that to pass in your life mm -hmm. verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith speaks verse 8 but what saith it mm -hmm. 
the word what saith the righteousness of faith the word, the word. where does it say the word is the word is nigh thee in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach mm -hmm. I'm preaching the word of faith that the word is nigh thee mean it's near you mm -hmm. close to you mm -hmm. it's as close as your mouth it's not far away from you it's something close to you something that you can do mm -hmm. you can do this mm -hmm. say I can do this, I can do this. You can do it if you put it in your mouth mm -hmm. because it's in your mouth first. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. What saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. Mm -hmm. Meaning, once it gets in your mouth, it'll eventually get down into your heart. Right. Kenneth E. Hagin says you can school yourself into faith by getting it in your mouth first. Because mm -hmm. what happens when you say it out your mouth? You hear it. Yes. What happens when you hear it? faith comes James 3 says that your tongue is what steers your life mm -hmm. it'll steer you in the right direction so if I get my tongue in line I can get me myself to go in the right direction mm -hmm. and not only will it steer the ship of your life it will literally change your body mm -hmm. speaking God's Word will literally change your body it has the force and power within it to bring itself to pass mm -hmm. can you see this yes. if I speak scriptures of youth renewal it will literally change my physical body mm -hmm. if I speak scriptures of healing and health what will it do it will literally change my body into being healed and healthy mm -hmm. if I speak scriptures concerning prosperity it will literally change my bank account from having nothing in it do having more than enough are you here yes. oh because I'm so special and fancy no because I've put his word in my mouth and it got in my heart this is the word of faith which we preach and it began to bring itself to pass in my life that is meditating in God's Word faith comes by hearing it just comes it comes with what it comes with the word because it's in the word you don't make the faith come you make your mouth do the work of saying it our part is the saying it his part is the faith coming and doing the thing mm -hmm. you can't make the healing take place you can't make the prosperity take place you can't make the youth or no take break you can make your mouth speak in agreement with him and he does it his faith does it his life does it his power does it are you getting this so don't get all stressed out over trying to make it happen trying to believe and trying to believe you don't have to believe you have to say and as you say the belief comes and takes care of it you believe in the process which is what I'm talking about tonight mm -hmm. remember meditation is a process of transferring his power that's in that word into your life into your situation into your family whatever it is mm -hmm. we believe in the process we have faith in the process it's more important than believing the promise itself because the promise itself has the faith in itself to bring itself to pass mm -hmm. did you get that this is huge if we believe in the process of saying it and faith coming it's more important to believe in the process of what God said about meditation right mm -hmm. than to believe the promise itself because the promise itself has the faith in it to bring itself to pass mm -hmm. faith for the promise comes by saying mm -hmm. and if you don't say it the faith will never come out of that saying and get into your situation meditation is the process mm -hmm. it's working for you now is what you come to believe mm -hmm. I believe in the process when is it working for me now when I'm saying it mm -hmm. that's what I believe even Jesus said that whosoever shall say doubt not in his heart but believe the things he says comes to pass what does he have to believe that the thing would come to pass he never said that he had to believe the thing he says 
so we're believing in the process mm -hmm. because the word that we're saying has faith in itself mm -hmm. to bring itself to pass right. more important to believe the process than the thing mm -hmm. <laughs> you know it's working when you're saying mm -hmm. that's what I believe mm -hmm. that it's working for me when I'm saying in fact there's faith in this message tonight to bring itself to pass if you'll hear it you can prove these things I'm not making this up pick a scripture pick a promise and start saying it mm -hmm. day and night mm -hmm. what's gonna happen as you do that the process will happen of where the faith will literally come out of that verse that promise and come into your situation Isaiah 48 17 says the Lord my God teaches me to profit and leads me by the way that I should go yes. it's something I want mm -hmm. I have found a verse of scripture that I want is God against me having this verse of scripture is there power in this verse of scripture to bring itself to pass in my life if I say it mm -hmm. if I want this I'm going to say it I'm gonna meditate in it I'm gonna begin the process and I have faith in the process mm -hmm. I'm not a novice in this this is my this is my scripture confession box they all have promises on them that I've meditated on and said but right now I want this one say one, one. so pick one you must have something you want from God Bible says Psalms 23 1 the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want so find something you want find a scripture that promises that to you and put it in your mouth mm -hmm. and keep it on your lips day and night welcome to the world of scriptural meditation Amen. now I've found that as you confess these scriptures you confess them until it gets up and leaves you until it gets up and goes out and does something what do you suppose that the scripture is going to do it's going to get up and go and do whatever that verse of scripture says mm -hmm. if you're believing for healing what is it going to get up and go and do it'll go up and do healing mm -hmm. acts 3 21 we won't turn there speaks of times of refreshing so well, I get bored of saying the same thing over and over all day long yeah but I'm telling you there are times of quickening times of refreshing that'll come along in in line with that it'll be the Holy Ghost just going yeah this is it he'll give a little something of it because he's doing it right. the process is happening whether you look like it or not or feel like it or not the process is happening mm -hmm. he's done it before he'll do it again the problem with most people is they've never done this to where they've had a result mm -hmm. they've given up halfway through do it until you get the result mm -hmm. and then you can go he did it before I recognize what's happening now he'll do it again are you getting this mm -hmm. it's repeatable meaning you can do it over and over again for any verse of Scripture whether it's by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body mm -hmm. so I ask you what scripture are you saying it's something we do it's how we meditate it's how we walk with God in the earth today is by saying scriptures what scripture are you saying mm -hmm. guess what he's gonna do for you that mm -hmm. pick one you want he's already said yes to it you have to say the so be it or the amen mm -hmm. one scripture that I confess a lot and I, I confess it every day many many times a day say many times a day many Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it Amen. I say it 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 what's happening when I say it I'm meditating on it and the thing that's in it what do you suppose is in Proverbs 10 22 a blessing that makes rich mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it mm -hmm. now one of the main reasons I say that is not oh, because I want to be super wealthy mm -hmm. is it goes right along with the other thing I say which is in Genesis chapter 12 verse 3 those who bless me are blessed mm -hmm. now it says the blessing of the Lord makes rich 
those who bless me are blessed I'm believing for their blessing mm -hmm. do you see this yes. and I say it many times during the day the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and those who bless me are blessed are made rich those who bless me are made rich because the blessing of the Lord makes them rich are you getting this yes I say it what's happening as I'm saying it the faith that's in that to bring itself to pass gets up and goes out and does it mm -hmm. Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are blessed and the favor of God is on them and great things are beginning to happen as the Word of God can take root and take hold and those things that are in the Word says the Spirit of the Lord shall bring themselves to pass in your life if you will only say them and not fall off to one side or the left continue to say my word and you will see them sprout up and bear fruit and you should be glad and we all shall rejoice in Jesus name amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today